All right, uh, back to another coolant um, fix here on my 340i with the B58. Uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll see that I've replaced quite a few components at this point. Um, just seems to be easier, I think, at this point. If you're getting back here, uh, you may just want to replace, just spend the money and replace all these hoses uh, if you can do it. Um, unfortunately, when I replaced this and this oil housing unit, the aluminum ones weren't available. Now they're available, but these are fairly new for me, so I'm not going to replace this. But what we are replacing today is this guy. So this is your electronic thermostat. Again, there's not very many videos on here about this thing, um, but it is relatively easy once you get your intake manifold off. Um, mine developed a leak, I believe. Let's see if I can get here in the light. The leak developed somewhere around here. I was getting coolant dripping down here off at the bottom of this. It's very difficult to see that when you're in there. Um, I ended up replacing this hose in case it was the hose, but I don't think it ended up being the hose. I believe it ended up being this. Um, I also noticed that this tab is broken on mine. Here's actually, here's the old one. So let's see. Yeah, so one of these tabs is broken for this, for this crossover tube. There's only three bolts holding this thing onto your block. We have two up top. that are captured bolts, so they're not coming out, which is good, makes it a lot easier. Uh, and then the third one is down here at the bottom. Relatively easy to get to. Don't take apart any of this other stuff. It's really no need if you're just replacing this whole unit. Um, there's also no need to take this on and off. Uh, that's how you'll end up damaging this. This will slide into place when you bolt and then you'll bolt it down after that so no point to taking that off it comes assembled so you might as well leave it that way um to get to this point if you're curious uh, i would recommend looking up a video on how to remove your intake manifold um it's not really that difficult uh really it's just moving your your bar across the top all of the components that sit on the back side of this, which is basically a bunch of 10 millimeters, uh, all the sound deadening material. Uh, remove everything off your intake manifold, all the wires. A couple things to note is uh, you'll have to remove a couple of these just to get some of the harness out of the way. Um, and then it's bolted down one, two, and then a series of 10 millimeter bolts, captured bolts, again, on the top of that thing. The hardest part is these two lines that, that connect underneath it. Um, to get those disconnected is difficult, but to get them reconnected is even more difficult. But once you get that out, you pretty much have all this room here. Um, once you get that, you're pretty much disconnecting the couple other hoses that connect up to this thing. So you got this one, one on the top, then you have your electronics. Uh, unbolt it in the three bolt look, the three capture bolt locations in here, and this thing should slide out. I'll slide this one in so you can see. So you'll want to get that kind of lined up. So that goes into your your mechanical water pump once you get that lined up there that should just kind of slide and wiggle in and now all your hot is lined up all right then reconnect everything uh one thing to note is some of these hoses you got to be really careful of these little hoses i broke one uh here I seem to break one every single time I come in here to do this. So that's uh, just the, the glory of plastic and BMW. Um, 
it heat cycles and these things break. So I have broken, oh my gosh, this one, something on here, I think I broke here. I've broken so many of these stupid hoses just, and, and it doesn't take a lot of force. So just uh, either be ready to replace all of them or just be really careful. Um, and again, reverse order, put it back together and there you have it. Um, one thing to note also, this is actually my second time doing this. I think it took me about 45 minutes to an hour to get to this point, which is not too bad, but it's my second time and I'm not sure how I missed it, but there was, I missed the O-ring from the old one and I ended up putting it back on and torquing that other one down with both O-rings in place. This O-ring should be captured in its little location, but I guess for whatever reason, it must have stuck to the block and I didn't notice it when I put the new one in and I had a double O-ring situation going on there causing a leak. Um, it was a pretty significant leak out of the bottom, which is super frustrating when you get that whole thing back together. Um, so be wary of that. It is just a smooth aluminum face, so do any cleanup required, but that O-ring should be fine uh, all by itself to, to seal that thing properly. So other than that, um, good luck and uh, comment if you have any questions on this. Thanks.